Hello, welcome back. I'm Mr. Cobalt, and I'm going to continue with the uh, video from before. So I started with uh, uh, principal quantum number number one, and I showed you what quantum numbers come from n equals one. So if n equals one, then your angular momentum quantum number is going to be zero. That's the only value and the letter S is associated with zero. And so this is the shape, this represents the shape or refers to the shape of the orbital and the shape of this orbital is spherical. And so a sphere only has one orientation so you'll get one, one a number for your M sub L. Okay, so there's only one orientation. What if, now if you have N, equals two. So we're going to separate these. <clears throat> if n equals two, then your again your L, your L quantum numbers are going to go from zero to n minus one. So n is two, so two minus one is one. So you get all the integers from zero to one, which is two integers. So L is going to be equal to zero or L is going to equal to 1. Oh, oops. 1. So we said before that 0 refers to S. 1 refers to P. So this is the P uh, subshell or, or uh, the P uh, orbital. So this, again, this, this is referring to the shape your L. So values refer to the shape. So at energy level number one, you have two different shaped orbitals. At principal quantum number one, you have only one orbital with one shape, okay? Or you have one <clears throat> type of orbital, one shape of an orbital, okay? So these are referring to, uh, you, you could understand these as sublevels. So here you have an energy level, here you have an energy sublevel referring to the shape. And then for each of these L values, you get M sub L values. So for L equals zero, you get M sub L value of zero again, because remember S is spherical shape, so there's only one orientation, you get one number. For this one, remember the L, M sub L values are based on L values from negative L to positive L through zero. So all the integers from negative L to positive L. So one, the M sub L values are going to be negative one, zero, positive one. So you get three M sub L values from L value number one. Okay, so this P value represents a shape of an orbital, which is kind of a, a dumbbell shape. So it's got this sort of shape. So the S, uh, S refers to a shape that's spherical, right? So it's got a spherical shape to it. And then P, has kind of a dumbbell shape to it. So you got a dumbbell shape like this. So it's got a dumbbell shape. So now this one can be oriented in three different ways. So it could be oriented along the x-axis. It could be oriented along the y-axis, which is perpendicular, or it could be along the z-axis, which is perpendicular to the board here. So we have x, y, and then you have z like this. And z is like out, out the board. Okay, so you can be oriented along the x, the z, or the y. So there are three different orientations you can have for that particular orbital or shape. So this is an sublevel n, n principal quantum number two. What if you have n 
quantum number three. So if n equals three, then your L values can be zero. Remember, your L values are from zero up to L, uh, n, L minus, n minus one. So if n is three, then your L values can be zero to n minus one, which is three minus one is two. So zero, one, and two. But I'll, I'll write them down this way. So you get an L equals zero, L equals one, or L equals two. And we said that zero for L refers to the S sublevel. L for equals one refers to the P sublevel. And L equals two refers to the D sublevel. So for here, again, the m sub l values are going to be for l equals zero, you're going to have negative, you're going to have zero. For l equals one, you're going to have m sub l values equals to negative one, zero, positive one, right? And then for l equals Two, again, the m sub l values are from negative l to positive l. So here we have two. So we have negative two, all the integers up to positive two. So the m sub l values equals, goes from negative two to negative one, zero, and then one, two. So here, again, we have, these are the orientations of this type of orbital. Okay, so the, the D orbitals have five different orientations. The P orbitals have three different orientations. And then the S orbital has uh, one orientation. And then let's do one more. We'll do N equals four. So with N equals four, you could have L again equal to zero, which represents the S sublevel. L equal to one, which again is your P. L equals two, which is your D. And then remember L can go from zero to N minus one. N minus one is four minus one, which is three. So you get L equal to three, and that would be your F sublevel. And again, for each of these L values, you get M sub L values. So again, your M sub L value is equal to zero for L equals one, uh, L equals zero. For L equals one, your M sub L values are gonna be from negative one to positive one, so negative one, zero, positive one. So for L equals two, it's gonna be negative two to positive two. So we have M sub L equals negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. And then you, you follow the pattern. So for L equals three, the M sub L values are going to be from negative three to positive three. So negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three. And so this is how you can get your quantum numbers and you just keep following the pattern. So if I had n equals five, then I would have L values from zero to four. And then four would be given some letter. We call it, but keep following the alphabet. So after F is G. So we might call that the G sublevel. And then we would give that G sublevel the L values from negative four to positive four. Okay. I hope this makes sense. So <clears throat> what I want to explain here, though, is I want to go back to 
um, these quantum numbers and explain what they mean. So in more in more detail, or at least try to explain it more clearly. So again, these quantum numbers are going to be related to your principal energy levels. So this is like your energy shell, right? Your overall energy shell. You can think of the L values that come from your principal quantum number, these angular momentum quantum numbers. These are referring to the shape of the orbital, right? What kind of shape does the orbital have, okay? <clears throat> and this could be seen as a sublevel, right? So when you have a shape of an S orbital, you can only have one possible orbital with that shape. And that's where you get your M sub L value, your magnetic quantum number here. So again, this has to do with the orientation. So there's only one possible type or kind of S orbital that you can have because of only one orientation, because it's a, a sphere, right? But what about uh, your at n equals 2? If you, at n equals 2, you have two sublevels, right? So at this principal quantum level, quantum number, you have this energy level, you have these two sublevels, which refer to the shapes of two, uh, po two possible shapes of your orbitals. Right, so you have an S shape, which is spherical, and you have P, which is like a dumbbell, right? And so again, for the spherical one, so these are the two possible types of orbitals you can have. Um, and there's only one possible orbital at this sublevel. So you have one, a one uh, S orbital. So you have only one S orbital, but for the P orbitals, you can have three different p orbitals with the same shape, right? That's the, the reason you can have three different orbitals with the same shape is because you've got three different orientations. So you can orient it along the z-axis, you can orient it along the y, or you can orient it along the x, and we call those, if it's a, or along the z, then it's with pz, if it's oriented along the Y, it's, we call it PY. And if it's oriented along the uh, X, we call that PX. So you get three different P orbitals from the orientation. And that's, and that orientation will come from the quantum numbers here. Negative one, zero, positive one. Okay. Um, so you for so for your p sub level, you get three different orbitals for this shaped uh, orbital or subshell. So for n equals three, your principal quantum number three, that's the energy level, the principal energy level or principal energy shell. Then you get three different sub levels for this one energy level. So you can have an s, a p and now a D. And again, these have to do with the shape. So for this is spherical, this is dumbbell shaped, and this is where you have two dumbbell shapes. Okay, so this would be like this. So you have one this way, and you have one this way. So you have a dumbbell this way and a dumbbell that way. So that would be the orientation there. Or this would be the shape, or one possible shape of your orbital. And you can see from the M sub L values that the D sub level, sub shell, has five different orientations. So it can have five different orbitals oriented in different ways. And so you can see here um, the relationship between the sub level and the different orbitals you can have at that sub level. Okay, um, I'm going to continue this in the next part.